What's up everybody, Justin Hayes here from a superhumanpursuits.com. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the evolution of exercise. Where we came from, right, where we started, how we transitioned, where we stand now, and where we might be missing the boat a little bit. Years back, there was no big box gym, no training equipment, no training machines. When you wanted to get stronger, you literally went out and lifted heavy things. That was how you did it. And this, in and of itself, is functional in nature. You had no choice but to train functionally. As we progressed and weight training, machines started to enter the training field. We started to get access to these things. People started going to gyms, started working out. We kind of transitioned from doing functional-based exercises into doing things in a segmented fashion, exercising in isolation. So instead of doing a full body complex movement, I was doing things like bicep curls, where I was isolating a prime mover and really just trying to hammer home strength in that area or just for vanity purposes. The problem with training like this is that you're working just that prime mover, you're not working the stabilization muscles, and therefore if you think about it, biomechanically, how you work day to day this never happens. You never just use your bicep in isolation. And if you do, it's a very rare occurrence. So this is what kind of poked holes in the idea of training in isolation. Now, we skip ahead. Isolations kind of, isolation activities are starting to run their course. You don't see them very much except for maybe in the bodybuilding realm. Things like CrossFit are starting to take hold and really hammer home the idea of functional strength. You see a lot of exercise protocols and programs rooted with movements like the squat and the deadlift or an overhead press, things in their nature that are functional. Sounds great, right? It looks like we're going in exactly the direction we need to go in it. And I would agree in part. There's one thing that's kind of missing though. As we move towards functional strength, we've kind of forgot about the fundamentals. We live primarily sedentary lives, meaning we're not very active. We don't practice basic movement patterns on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of us just sit all day. So when you go from that state and you try to tackle something like a deep squat or a deadlift or any of these other functional movement, functional strength-based activities that are a little bit more complex, our bodies simply aren't ready to make that leap from no baseline all the way up to that activity. We've got to build it up to that point. We've got to nail the fundamentals. And so sometimes we have to bring these large complex patterns and break them down a little bit more, get our body grooved in these baseline elementary things, and then move our way back up to functional strength. I hope that maybe provides a little bit of guidance and maybe it might cause you to make a, a general shift in your exercise plan. If you've watched three or four of my videos and we still are friends on Facebook, you haven't reached out to me on Twitter, you haven't shot me an email, what's going on? I'm very responsive. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please hit me up. Talk to you soon.